In one of my latest videos, I milled up this Madrone lumber. It turned out beautiful. This anchor seal I ordered on Amazon came in. Madrone can be very tricky to dry. I've never used anchor seal before. The Madrone doesn't look as good as it did. After Madrone gets exposed to air, it turns funny colors for a while, but then it goes back to something more natural. Right now it's in an awkward stage. Most of the time I'm milling Douglas fir or pine. As long as I dry it in the shade, I've never really had much of a problem with end checking. So I've never had a reason to use anchor seal. But Madrone is very well known for being very hard to dry. It cracks, it warps. So I'm gonna put some anchor seal on it. I'm new to anchor seal. The first thing I notice is we have these tabs on here. I've never seen that before. Whoa, we got a flyer. Wear eye protection taking these off. Oh, that looks like a potential mess. Since I have such a propensity for making a huge mess when it comes to working with gooey things like this, I'm gonna change out of this jacket into something I don't care about. Let the mess begin. I milled these a few days ago. This morning I cut off the end so I'd have fresh ingrain to paint. Supposedly, it's just as simple as painting the end grain. When wood dries, a lot of it exits through the end grain, and painting it slows that down. On my video where I milled this lumber, someone said in the comments on Madrone, he likes to paint it a few inches in. Sounded like he had some experience with Madrone. Seems like it's not a bad idea. I didn't even make it through the first one without getting some on my boot. With those ends finished, I'll flip the boards around, do the other side. The trick here is doing this without making a mess. Someone smart probably would have done this in a place where they didn't have to do this, where they could get to both ends. See what I mean? A mess. I got it on my shirt, my boot, the ground. Not only that, but I dropped the lid and got gunk on the lid. All I was trying to do was put the lid on. If anybody ever gets any silly ideas like wanting me to help them paint their house or anything like that, think twice. I hardly used any. This gallon of anchor seal is gonna last a very long time at the rate I'm going. I haven't been using this old retired trailer for anything, so I'm just gonna use it as a lumber drying rack for now. After this anchor seal dries, I'm gonna re-sticker these boards, get them all arranged real nice. I'm gonna wait for this to dry just so I don't make a huge mess. I know some people cure Madrone by steaming or boiling it, but I don't have the facilities for that. The other way that sometimes works is to sticker it and put a whole bunch of weight on it to hold it down while it dries. From what I hear, the result from that is mixed. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. While we wait for the anchor seal to dry, let's go down there and get some weight to put on them. Before we get to that, I decided to clean up all my anchor seal paraphernalia. As I was thinking, I actually didn't make too much of a mess this time. I might have discovered something. Maybe anchor seal works well on boots. I got them mostly cleaned up. We're not even going, just don't even ask. Let's go down there and get some weight to put on there. I have this dead ponderosa pine right next to the garden fence. I don't wanna have a dead ponderosa pine next to the garden fence, so I'm gonna cut it down. I noticed last fall it was showing signs that it was dead. I didn't cut it then because I wanted to leave it over the winter thinking it might have more time to get more blue stain inside. Now it's showing signs of being even more dead. Maybe the more proper way of saying that would be, it's showing signs of being even more deader now. Well, maybe now it's had some time to get some good blue stain colors. We'll get it down, put it on the mill and find out.
Oh yeah, looks like we're gonna get some good blue color out of this one on the mill. At least on the butt end we will. These are mostly dry. It dries to a clear waxy coating. Got these stickered. Now I'll start piling lumber on top. This blue pine may not be the best for weight because it's not very heavy, but I'm gonna use this for the next few layers because I want it to have weight on it too. Ponderosa pine can be prone to warping as well. Hold on, hold on, stop the show. This is not working for me. It's the next day I was planning on continuing with this, but after having a night to think about it, this is such a nice place to stack and store lumber and there's only a limited amount of space here. I was only planning on putting high grade material down, but this pine is a little less than impressive. 
It's actually a little bit drab when it comes to blue pine. For blue pine, it's just not doing it for me. I think I want to sell these boards sooner than later. Plus, the pine's just not that heavy. I think I need to find something else to weigh those down with. Something a little heavier, something a little higher grade. I don't have time to do that today. We're going to have to cut this short. I need to find something else to fill up the end of this video with. I know, I could show you some of the latest pictures I got off my trail cam. One of them is a little bit exciting. Another one, I don't even know what it is. I don't know if it's a coyote or some kind of a cat. What I do know is the trail camera I have is lousy, especially with night pictures. Sometimes you can hardly see what it's taking a picture of. I need to get another one. I'd like to have several of them so I can scatter them around. If anyone has any recommendations of what I should get, preferably something affordable so I can have several of them and not get too upset the next time a bear tears one apart. If you have any recommendations on what I should get, let me know in the comments. Enjoy these, and if you think you know what the mystery animal is, let me know. Ugh, what a mess. Note to self, always make sure the lid is fully on before moving it, especially a full container. That's ruined. Maybe that's why they put those little metal tabs on it. 